will I feel sheepish? How's everybody doing? Doing good. Welcome. It's four o'clock. Let's see who's all here. Let's see. We got. Want me to go live yet or wait? Speedism. Well, it's just all. Okay, that's fine. I don't okay, care. If I'm, I'm going to start streaming. Okay. I don't care. What we're doing on the float trip, Polly? Hmm. Oh, did you get the dates for it yet? Y'all froze. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I hear you glitchy. And I need to turn on my... <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. What's StreamBot? What is that? Oh, that's... uh. So I can I can see like on it's for the overlay so I can see who's who's chatting to try to hopefully bring up the names of like who's on. Mm. All right. Uh, I guess I need to turn on my light. Hold on. <clears throat> Let's see how does that look now. How Looks do nice I look now. You look, you look, you look gorgeous. Now? I like my gorgeous dad. darling gorgeous darling darling just extremely gorgeous. gorgeous there he is what's up all right we got the, the boys are back oh, in town you guys check my level yeah yeah you're a little quiet my levels to see how i am no you're fine now okay <laughs> this is the highlight of the show today by the way <laughs> it's just a dumpster what's fire that? things going with you, Polly? Uh, well, I wish I didn't have to work anymore. That'd be nice. Because it's... Uh, yeah, man, I'm, been I mean, I, I miss seeing you guys like every day. Yeah, you too, man. You too. It's... It's... Uh, well, it's uh, well, we miss you. Now we need to find out where you're at and go play with you. That didn't come out right at all. <laughs> That didn't come out at all, did it? Did this? That was just. <laughs> huh. <laughs> hey, Paul, what? I don't know. Wow, buy me wow. dinner first. I know, right? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I I can announce uh, another thing. Uh, I am uh, I'm changing my uh, pronouns, and, and, and this, this this is not a joke, but I'm, I'm changing them to them and they. Hmm. We are legion. Very nice. There you go. Yeah. Yes. So you're a robot. I just feel I am robot. <laughs> yeah, robot, yeah. No, I, I just I, I feel more natural as that. Your face froze, Polly. <laughs> oh no, I'm also looking at something too, so I don't know what that is. Okay, because because when I when I announced your face, I was like I was like I, I was just announcing. Oh no, uh, the what I posted in the um the thing was I said I was going to go through my phone clear out my phone of because i get all these ideas for different shows and stuff like that and i put them in my phone i'm sure you guys do the same thing too right oh, yeah <laughs> well on, on what of <laughs> show ideas for uh your show oh yeah, yeah I, I actually mm -hmm. i do I, i've got a trello list of stuff so yeah so no, i do before we get started in this let's uh let's go for the intro you ready yep are you tired of people complaining about literally everything every day? I... Do you find yourself overly annoyed by the actions of others? Do you need right. fuck them all? <laughs> when prescribed by your doctor, fuck them all can significantly reduce your ability to give a fuck. It's the miscellaneous podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. That was oh, my. great. <laughs> Literally sent me that today. Yeah, dude, that's so good. It's so funny. All right, so here we go. We're going to go through the top Bibafa list of things you wish you had as well as toilet paper. You ready? Yes. Tells you how old this thing is that's in my phone. <laughs> Number one, what is your favorite pie? Apple. What'd you say? Apple. Bubble. Apple? Apple <laughs> pie. Apple. Yeah, pie. you know, I'd say apple you know, pie. I like too. the dude in uh, 
<laughs> dude, it, like the dude in uh, uh, American Pie. American Pie. Ooh. Yeah, American Pie. Ugh. And my face looks pudgy. It's messed up. I just woke up. But I make my own. I make my own apple pies. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, everybody else, come on. Let's get up on this. I, 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 I'm Apple. All right, Josh. Oh, I like cherry pie. I like all kinds of pies: cherry pie, apple pie, you know, peach pie, blueberry pie, blackberry pie. Uh, <laughs> pie, pie is good. <laughs> I like that. Pass be good. All right. Uh, steak or seafood? Steak. steak. Ooh. Ooh, man. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> and it depends on what kind of seafood we're talking about he's, here. He's all like, ooh, steak. let me think about this one. <laughs> and Delroy says, ooh, pumpkin let pie. me think about this one for just <laughs> one second. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Telleroy. Yeah, uh, everybody uh, else, join in too. What did he say? A uh, pumpkin. All right. Oh, pumpkin pie. Yeah. So we. So what is it then? Steak or seafood? There. Oh, it's isn't? steak. Steak. All right. I go with steak. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of good seafood, but yes. But then steak. again, I'm the type of person that can. I can, and I can eat my weight in shellfish. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shellfish. Come on, give it. Uh, share for the rest of us. I like that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You eat your weight in shellfish, but like you don't want to do that all the time. No, that. No. <laughs> but, you, but you can eat a steak all the time. I I've always wondered with sure. those like eating contests, how do they not get fat? Hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So they have stock in like Kohler and all those toilet companies. <laughs> <laughs> so they just <laughs> afterwards. There's another contest oh. they do afterwards, huh? It reminds me of yeah, uh, sure Lardass from uh, Stand by Me. <laughs> Largest mm. deuce by volume. <laughs> um, Italiano or Chinese? Mm. Chinese. Yeah, well, I, are I, you I, talking about like American Chinese food or like real Chinese food? Oh. Either way, uh, I'll, I'll destroy it all. Hold on. This, uh, this is kind of funny. I think Josh will get this more than anything else. Uh, this, Josh, has uh, got some more Guinness that I left overnight. Your video is frozen again, Polly. Hmm. Pepsi or well, Coke? There must, there must be a, an internet shortage somewhere. Yeah. Am I still frozen? You're still frozen. So, I mean, I could have just let it go, let it go. But now we're into the unknown. Into the unknown. Okay. Pepsi or Coke? Dr. Pepper. Nice. Drink soda. Nice. I've, I, oh, I thought, I've had some pop recently, like very little. I like the Coke that comes in a in a can with like the the, the real sugar. That stuff's good stuff. Mm. <laughs> I don't do, do a lot of pop. Oh, this is an old movie. Mountain Dew. There you go. <laughs> I'm drinking a Mountain Dew right now. Yeah, nice. Ooh, chocolate. Go to miscellaneouspodcast.com slash Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. We're trying to find. A, I don't know if you guys have been on the 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 pod or the uh, website, the miscellaneouspodcast dot org. Check it out. We got more and more and more merch. I think we have more merch. We're like turning into Kiss. I want to sell everything. I want to put an alarm clock with the miscellaneous. So podcast when I go to Florida, on. yeah, I need the leotard. So when I go to Florida in October, should should like go have a a label made. It says share a Coke with the miscellaneous podcast. Ooh. Nice. That'd be really cool. Hell yeah. Do you like this right behind me there? Uh, Man, I'm going to drink it. This is our beach towel behind oh, me. It, it's frozen. It's frozen again. It's frozen. You're frozen, dude. Fuck over. I blame you guys for all this. Yes. Well, it's weird because like play. I'm frozen, but like B Dism is all choppy frozen all the time for me. So 
I don't say anything because I'm not no. rude. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm American. like. <laughs> well, and I'm also I'm also in the cave of dism right now. Mm-hmm. What was that again? No, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm in the I'm in the cave of dism right now. Mm. Fifty Shades of Grey. Maybe if I oh. Fifty yeah. Shades of Be Dism. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Be Dism. Oh, <laughs> look at no, he just takes like the head Absolutely on. nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing down here right now. Mm. Now it's like my first case and. Actually, having my own man cave, to an extent, and uh, I'm kind of liking it. That's really cool, man. Yeah, it's it's nice having your own space. I, I I've got mine here. Uh, that's why I've got everything around me. I mean, it's so so. I do, Fraz. I do need to do figure out where did you get that backdrop from, and who made it? How much was it? You can, oh, yeah. you can private message me how much it was or something, and. Uh, where you made it at? Because I I might get something like that made, and I'm buying that like four hundred dollar microphone you got there. But I'll I'll figure out something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, right now, you don't so like it, the miscellaneous well, was... podcast towel behind me. I see anything? Just saying that the microphone looks like you, mean you don't see anything. My, what the fuck sure. over? I don't think it's me. I think it's I think it's <laughs> Pdism. Oh well. And uh, I can I tell see her, you, Polly. Thanks, buddy. and tell her what I was saying that every, that there's absolutely nothing down in the Buddhism cave, in, including a reliable <laughs> internet connection. Damn. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's move on. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. How many tattoos does everybody have? Zero for now. <laughs> I like the way you did that. Zero. I have many. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like this. <laughs> yeah. It's the shake weight. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going like this. <coughs> uh, elf. Yeah, I, I have. I have many. I have many, many choosings. Oh. I only have one from jail. <laughs> and Telerart says one, and I'm almost one fifth of the way to buying Frasley's. It says there you go. Chauncey. Yeah. Yeah, can we we could put anything on it, right? So I can say um I love Smurfs or something if I, you know, get the level high enough, right? I never said that, but I did say I'm going to talk to the community on what the to put there, so. <clears throat> that we right. can, that we can get the involvement. <laughs> going on my body. My body. Gnome hub. <laughs> oh. <Nice. laughs> Wait. Where did say gnome hub? <laughs> Uh, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Mm. Yeah, chocolate. Mm. Be Hey there. Wait, I no. can't hear him. On Beatism. If he's talking, I he's can't He's just like know. nodding, looking. At Is he just camera. nodding? <laughs> he's just... Now he looks like the Press RCA him. dog. He's confused. Oh, but... You there? Here. <laughs> There's like a delay. That's the weirdest thing. Uh, uh, tch, 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 tch. Ever hit a deer? Yes, our family did on uh, in our big uh, our big blue van. Interesting story about that. I'll be right back to tell you about it. Hmm. Josh, I'm sure you've oh, hit a deer. Hit several, yeah. <laughs> I had one of the ghetto sled, that big old white tornado I used to have. Mm. Yeah. Mm, Road in an ambulance. Yep. I don't think so. I did, but I wasn't injured. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Who has good stuff, but Netflix, I always go back to. I can always find something, even if it's garbage. Garbage. Netflix, definitely. Oh, there you are. Now I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, it's, it's so much better. Well, mm. you know, I'm, I'm using the uh, web app for... Mm-hmm. Uh, I was using the web app for Discord, and uh, 
I switched back over to the phone. So oh, okay. yeah. Well, uh, you'll figure it out. No worries. <laughs> yeah. Holly, are you drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Like I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> not. Making her MMA debut here tonight. Uh, <laughs> MMA. What the fuck? <laughs> Twist his dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever see that one MMA fight where the guy like gets kicked in the kicked in the nuts in like the first within the first minute, and you hear this loud crack, and it just he just he's done. No. Oh. Glad I never saw that. Jeez, oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm posting it in the link. I'm posting it in the right link. now. I, I, I heard. Nice. I heard down there with hearing that. How? Yeah. Um. Last text was from a person. What was that person's name? You don't have to give a full name. Mine is Joe. <laughs> Last what? A text. Now, are we saying text, or do we mean, like, WhatsApp, Facebook, Text Discord? from your phone. Okay. Then <clears throat> I would say that would be my mom. Aw. Me, ma. Get it from me, ma. Yeah. Got it I love my, you, ma. For my son. And it was pick me up from work, dad. <laughs> <laughs> I get a blue caravan. And that link is up. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here, since there's nothing else going on, on the show today. Oh, this, this, just the oh. thumbnail. I'm going to put this in uh, Twitch. The, the thumbnail is just... Jeez. Oh, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. I'm like... <laughs> oh, that's a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's pulling his pants out like... <laughs> And I think I think this is the one where they also put up like a curtain for him <laughs> around so that nobody could like look inside. Oh god, he broke he broke his fucking dick, man. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling it like like if he pulls it off, it'll hurt less. Yeah. <laughs> look at the dude just like uh, uh I done. Sorry, bro. Up. Sorry, bro. Oh, dude. Ah, just this face is making me pay. Ah. I know. Just the thumbnail is making me go like, I don't want to look at that. I'm just like, mm. oh. The other guy looks so like. <laughs> well, um, the guy's like, okay, let's fight. We're good to go, right? Oh, they put the blanket over him. Oh, he's so. F- oh, dude, he's so gone. I think he yeah, burst so- in a testicle. And if you and if you listen to it with the sound, you actually hear you do the hear pop. the pop. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Poor bastard. Oh. Ugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Poor guy. Twist his dick. <laughs> 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 and the next one Everybody's is like break his dick off. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. <laughs> It's funny, the next one down the list is Broken Bones. <laughs> Thankfully not yet. Technically, that's not a bone. Mm. Yet. Mm. I broke my foot one time when I was a kid. I dropped a two-by-four on it. Ooh. Yep. Ow. That's not good. Mm-mm. What's your favorite oh. color? <laughs> Like like elf, clear, <laughs> clear. <laughs> it's been red, Rainbow. but I'm like, because they're like purple. I like clear because there are many different shades of clear. There's the Beyonce clear, uh, the Denise Richards clear, Dark and hell, clear. yeah. And there's the Reva McIntyre clear. Isn't there also like the the Pepsi clear? <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much. Right now, I like rainbow. Anymore. That's my favorite color. Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sunrise or sunset? Sunset, because then you don't have to stay. You don't have to get really forward to the sunrise. Yep. Mm. Sunset. All way. All day. All day. I see them both. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Both stupid. I used to when I worked at the refinery. Oh yeah, I get to work at five thirty in the morning and leave at like seven o'clock at night. Ugh. Hi, son. 
Bye, son. <laughs> well, yeah, working overnights at my last place of employment, I would come in as the sun was going down and be leaving when the sun was going up. So, mm. yeah, you walk out and you're like looking like a vampire and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> or, or like a mogwai. Bright light, bright light. <laughs> Till tomorrow. Mm, dogs or cats? Cats. Um, I'm allergic to cats, so dogs. I have two dogs, so mm. cats. All right, that comes from uh, my <laughs> buddy Brian. So thanks, Brian, for those uh, little Thank you, Brian. things. Right, let's see what else we got here in the old, uh, the old cell phone here. Ideas for the show, I guess. What's going on in the iPhone <laughs> four? <clears throat> All right, so this one so, comes from my buddy Richard, who's been on the show before, Shrek. Uh, he goes, I'm bored enough, so I want to do this. Okay, name four names that you also go by. Um, I go by B, B, D, Bry, and uh, until I was five, I thought my name was No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, can these be nicknames? Well, yeah. I mean, okay. There's only no, so the many variations name. of Paul. You go by Frasley, <laughs> Stephen, Jacob. Uh, How did you know my whole name? You know my whole name now. Oh, okay. But yeah, no, like uh, Frasley. I thought I had Fras because that's kind of a different one. Uh, Frazzle and Jonathan. Oh no! What about Frazzle Dazzle? We've had called you that. <laughs> Frazzle Dazzle all the time. Yeah, and and you're actually why we have the Frazzle Dazzle channel points. Ah, wow, that's his, uh, really? Yeah, that's from his, Josh. That's his, Josh made that name yeah, up. That's Fraz, yeah. That's Frazzle's poll name on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and now coming down the stage center stage this evening we have frazzle dazzle please be sure all to right, your bartenders all right please ladies don't, don't be shy get those ones up to the stage <laughs> <laughs> he likes hiking boating and out di- <laughs> well, long walks by the beach and I don't discriminate on genders. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so here's a good one for you. Hmm. Let's make let's make Polly decide between two totally unrelated things. Huh? How does that sound? How does that even work? Yeah. Okay, so I'll I'll give you an example. Please okay, do. Okay, Polly, would you Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be able to fart uh, on the hour, every hour, for the rest of your life, or only be able to have to eat for the rest of your life the last thing you ate? Hmm. I'd fart. <laughs> every hour on the hour. That'd be fun. <laughs> You'd just be like, and... There'd be, yeah, there'd be no surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 10, 20 minutes early? 20 minutes 20 early. Minutes early. Yeah, that's an easy one, though. Yeah, but you're never any kind of early, so... <laughs> Who? You. Me? No. Yes. No. <laughs> I don't know uh, where you get that from. <laughs> Which, oh, yeah, just yeah, just the years of living with you and I had to beating your ass, you know, trying to get Well, and wasn't there a show where we're all like early. we we all got here on time and, and like and like we're like Polly and like thirty minutes later we're like we're we're calling our phones. <laughs> uh, you're like hey, Michael up? Paul, this is actually his show. <laughs> I had no idea when so, <laughs> Would you rather be forced to dance every time you've heard music or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? Hmm. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I guess sing along. <laughs> but that'd be sucky. Am I like, co- am I like coordinating da- coordinated dancing or am I like, you know, <laughs> just white girl drunk dancing? <laughs> 
She's fine. I mean, I'm, did you? <laughs> yeah. Or, or he could just go straight for the weekend at Bernie's and be done with it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The zombie yeah. one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And every now and then throw in the dice, the dice move, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and would you rather wear a wedding dress or a tuxedo every single day or wear a bathing suit every single day? That's correct. Right. What was that again? I wear a tuxedo every day, man. Yeah. I mean, I'd be like, I'd be like James Bond. Hell man. yeah, yeah. Shh. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> here to, 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 to pick up my toilet paper. <laughs> Would you like Let a mask now? <laughs> I'm sure you didn't bring a mask. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's it for that. What is this? What's this? Today, uh, the uh, today the the uh, God, I can't talk. Huh, let me get another the drink. Speech is bad. Yeah. Mm. It's it's the bite that really gets to you afterwards. Ugh. It's uh, it's the ever clear and if it really clears you <laughs> out. Today, the devil whispered in my ear, you're not strong enough to withstand the storm, and I whispered six feet back, motherfucker. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Speak me back, like six feet back, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that's that's freaking weird. Hmm. No, well, I'm looking on eBay for like tactical shotgun parts, and like I looked you do. up this on my phone. <laughs> and I looked this up on my phone, but it when I looked it up on my desktop here, it bought up everything that I looked at there. Mm, are, I mean, are you signed into, into the same account? No, I just pulled up eBay for the first time on my phone, on my on my desktop here. Hmm. That uh, that they have their ways. Like it, it is pretty scary. They like have how their they ways. can they they like tag my IP or something. Yeah, they need uh, to have their way with you. And 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 you're probably logged into some site on one of the two, and they're like, okay, they were able to get to to get a cookie from the two of those. Uh so a girl okay. sent me this thing. You'll see it in uh, general. That's one of the things I really like, too. <laughs> I don't know if you can post it. Roll me Twitter. blunts and tell me I'm pretty. I'm going to link it in Twitch. <laughs> I don't know if I can put it on. I just think this one's perfect. I don't know why. I just love this Six Flags picture. I'm a huge Six Flags fan, especially in the summertime. You gotta go in the summertime, but it with COVID and it being like ninety thousand degrees outside, eh, just go to the water park, <clears throat> Bruh. Bruh. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hmm. I've been going to this. The, I've been going to the Six Flags in our area for over thirty years, mm-hmm. and every single year it just goes downhill. Hmm. So, about three, four years ago, when I started purchasing season passes on the regular, I had this idea, you know, I'm going to be a good dad and, you know, be there for my kids and do stuff with my kids. So, I would take weekends off and we would go and visit other Six Flags around the country. We'd drive to go to other Six Flags around the country just to, you know, have something to do. Yeah. So, I wound up. The best Six Flags in the country that I've been to so far, probably Chicago. Hmm. Yeah. So if you get a season pass, make the trip to Chicago. It's so if you get a season it. pass, it's any one you can go to, like the one in Texas, too? I've been to the one in Texas. Hmm. Um, I actually flew. We flew to the one in Texas, but I've been to the one in Chicago. You got um, like four of them yeah. in Texas. Yeah. Wow. I went to the one in Dallas. And I went to the one over in uh, Atlanta too. Hmm. And and if you and, and and honestly, if you uh, would like a kick-ass water park within a reasonable driving distance from from where we're at, go to Holiday World. Where's that? Santa Claus, Indiana. Huh? I didn't know. That. A, <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I go just because it says Santa Claus, Indiana. Jeez, it's like two hours. It's like <clears> a <throat> two and a half, three hour drive from here. Wow. And hmm. from 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 you, from from my house, it's like three hours. From your house, it's probably going to be two and a half hours. All right, so, I like that. So Short it's like time. free parking. It's free parking. Uh, free sunscreen. Free soda. <laughs> 
<laughs> free soda in the park. Yeah. yeah. And, and free soda. Free soda is, is just, <laughs> you know, they have these little houses, like these little huts, stationed in trees. strategic areas throughout the park. You just walk in, get yourself a cup, and, you know, get yourself your, your pop, if Frasley calls it, or you get your soda. <laughs> you it's, 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 it's fantastic. A, and it's like, and thing? it's not like, and it's not like what I like about this place. It's not like you have either Pepsi, Sprite, or Mountain Dew. No, you get like the full menu of Pepsi wow. products. Is that uh, Lake Compounds? Because we we have because the, the, I mean, Connecticut is a place called Lake Compounds that has the, the same thing. No, it's a uh, Holiday World, but you know, okay, it's, Holiday World. Yeah, it, but it's, but it's uh, like, then they play, and the food prices are reasonable, and the water park they have water coasters, man. Water Ooh. coasters. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> no. Man, yeah, you, know, you know what, Polly? You just yawned so loud, I saw the back of your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah. I was, I, I'm enjoying my two days. Um, and just for, and for I need to say this. You okay? Yeah, you okay? But yeah, yeah. You no, I'm good. Again? I didn't know what you were. And I'm on my phone. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm just saying that that you know, Holiday World did not pay me for this endorsement. So. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be nice, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, hey, would've been nice. But so I wanted to show this that too. that um, that sugar Holiday World. Holiday, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, the, 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 the fun things. Uh, here we go. We have our Bob, um, Bob Ross, um, Rob Ross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross. Uh, little mint trees. You guys seen those little altoids? Mm-hmm. No. You see those in uh those are those, those are fresh. <laughs> that that sandwich is looking uh, kind of sexy there. Thank you. That, so that, that was Norco Killer. He came by, gave us all uh lunch one day. It was really fucking like they're thick ass sandwiches, man. So yeah. hats off to Norco who's on vacation right now. Enjoy your vacay, buddy. <clears throat> then I found five bucks. Yeah. Now I right. want a, I want a sandwich now. Have? I know, right? And <coughs> and uh, stream. Look at how thick that is. <laughs> I love how thick it is. Thick. <laughs> uh, here's a drawing I did. I don't know body. why this is going to be in there, but whatever. This is a drawing I did of my old house in um, when I was a kid. This is looking out at the uh, sliding. Um, this is a. What is that thing? Sliding glass door onto the deck, which is then you look to your left and you'd see the pool. That was my childhood. There's a thing in Fargo where the, where the person's looking through the window. The, the window, he's like, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know if I put this in there. <laughs> That's not bad, man. I sent that yeah. to my brothers, and they're like, "Why? Why are you taking? Why did you draw a picture of the old deck?" <laughs> I was like, huh, eh, eh, whatever. Show I show note ideas yeah, from my back phone. Envy. It's like a little bit better. That's a lot better than what I would do. <laughs> Same. I'd be like, like uh, we try to play this game, uh, Drawful, and I'm pretty drawful at it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if, if if I'm on your team in Pictionary, expect to lose. The, right, there's cool. this game we we played called, uh, uh, n- not Pictionary, but. You you had to like Draw. pass pass stuff around. Weed? Uh, no, not weed. <laughs> but it, it was a game where like everybody was like would like draw, and then like the the next person had to guess, and like people would add stuff to it. Pictionary. No, not no Pictionary. It, it was okay. It worked different <laughs> than Pictionary. Well. It's literally a Pictionary. Like you see a word and you have to draw the word and you have to make people guess what the drawing is. It's dictionary. <laughs> uh, I can't. I, I can't find it. Uh, you guys want to see some of the top um, top ten paused scenes in movies? Yeah, uh, yeah. The Halle Berry scene from uh, when she was topless. Is that sure, it? I guess. But we're gonna go to the PG versions here. So. Oh, well, crud. Starting off with uh, Teen Wolf. Check it out over in general. There was a person who didn't zip up their pants. Yeah. 
I remember I, that one. That was weird seeing that on the. Uh, you can still see it too on the the movie. I that one I'm not going to be able to link to because, but yeah, that I think the the version I saw had it edited out. Hmm. What is this? Oh, there he is. Okay, so this one, there he is, right there on the right hand side, Ron Jeremy. That's what he was in Ghostbusters. On the left there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh he's in some little bit of trouble right now. So. Yeah, I don't know how to take that. Okay, you're a porn star, right? You you're a porn star. Don't you just go on set and get as much as you want? Why, why do you need to just go and well, rape motherfuckers? You're, su- you're supposed to, even in porn, there's, there's consent. that The actors are consenting. Well, they were and, saying like he was getting it from, like I guess he goes to people's houses. Because we talked about this on the last week's show, too. But I guess he just goes to other people's houses and just starts banging chicks or something. I don't know. But... Hey, if he's guilty, get him in trouble. That's all I gotta say. Yep. Yeah. No. <clears throat> uh, this one yeah, is. Yeah, but there, there should be retribution for the people if they're lying too. Really? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, because he's only 100%. worth six million dollars. I mean, it's not like they're really gonna get a lot from him. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that if they're lying, there should be some sort of retribution for him. Yeah. Really. Seriously, what kind well, of retribution it's, it's, do you want to uh, give Ron Jeremy? Well, no, 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 it is no. no. I mean, it's it's because like I I, and I, I agree. They're with trying Josh. to ruin his reputation and everything by saying, "Oh, he sexually assaulted me" or whatever. And then, like, if the, if it's found that they're lying, they just go, "Oops, sorry." I know then, and you're then right. Then you That's what yeah. I'm saying, and I don't mean it in a bad way when I said it because it did sound really bad. But I mean, it's Ron Jeremy, okay? He's a porn star who's famous for having a big ass dick. So, with that said, and you see in that that reality show where he was just going nuts. But if you're saying that all these people are lying, I mean, they're gonna look at Ron Jeremy and be like, "Oh no, we just discredited a porn star." Yay! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like I don't know. Is that? Really bad to say that about him. I don't know. No, it's not that bad to say, but it's it just it's it's still it's slander whether he you know fucks for a living or not. Mm. It's still yeah, slander. File, false police report. I mean, you know. Well, I, it, well, I guess it's this. Okay, you you go after maybe three professions that you think wouldn't matter if you you get accused of that, and that's like some somebody a politician. When they get sex scandals, you're just kind of like, eh, I could see that going down. And if, even if they're wrong, you're like, eh, you're still a politician. We don't care about you. You know, that's one. Actors, that's iffy. That's uh, a little teetering, depending on what you like or what you don't like, or if this actor is like a big weirdo or not. And, well, I guess it's just two then, because like everybody else, it's detrimental to everybody else. So, I don't I'm- know. There, there, there's always a possibility of, of false reports. There's also with 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 every accusation, there's people that never speak about that person or other people. So it's in the grand scheme, it's better to to believe to believe the the, the accusations because there are people that aren't speaking up as well. Well, okay, True. people who are investigating this, yes, but not media trolls because they're everywhere. Anytime you have a sexual assault. Why do you turn to social media to be your defender? Why can't you just go to the authorities? Do you see what I'm saying? Because in the in the realm of social media, in the realm of social media, you are guilty until presumed innocent. And even when you are presumed innocent, you're still going to be guilty, and it's still going to stick with you. So you well, and go and throw them all on social media so they get fucked the rest of their life. They get vilified. That is correct. Even if it's untrue. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how if we had social media back in the eighties when we had crap going on like the Iran Contra affair and Oliver North? Oh my god. Can you imagine how he would have how he would have just been completely and Monica Lewinsky, if we had in the nineties, if we had social media, Monica Lewinsky would be still under that rock. 
You see what yeah, I'm saying? That, that's my point. There's a difference between, you know, um, filing, a, you know, for someone to say, well, you sexually assaulted me and knowing damn good and well that it didn't happen. You're just trying to, you know, you're just trying to stir shit up because then, you know, or as, as an act of retribution and, and someone saying, well, he sexually assaulted me and maybe he did, but he was found, you know, not guilty. There's a difference in that. But you what know, happens? Going, that's the thing. Well, you on, say on there's either, retribution for these people or whatever that they, well, they I, get. I'm they get, saying that there should be, but there's not. Yeah. So because if, what? Yeah. If somebody says happening. like Frasley, you know, did something inappropriate and it gets all over the media and he's he's completely just ruined and then it comes out, eh, I faked it. Bye. You know, that's very bad to do. I get that. But what can we do to those people? That's what happened to Brian Banks. You, you, you yeah, that's, check a, that's actually what Kanye West is doing. Too. Like, the people who, like, you know, accuse him, he goes after them and sues them and shit. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, I mean, you know, the only thing you can do to, you know, the very rich and the very poor is take their money away. And that's what he does. The- there's always a, a chance for people to, to do that. And, but again, there, there are people that are too afraid to, to speak up against somebody in power. No, we, oh, yeah. we've already covered that from what last week's show, the yeah. week before that. We're not talking about what if it was all false and everybody just got thrown through the mud. And then they, the, at the very end, when the pressure builds up because the accuser is now completely falsifying everything and did it only for money or whatever, what happens to the, the poor bastard who got drugged through the, the mud for this? You they know, they pick up the pieces and they just got to continue to move on. Cause we're not yeah, arguing I mean, the whole fact of listen first. We never argue about that. Yes. But after we find out the facts and we find out they're wrong, do you go after the accuser then? No, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 but I, but I, and I think that's why it, it, I think because there's a smaller chance of it. It, it does happen, but there's a smaller chance of it being wrong. So we don't really go after the, I mean, it, it's, it's, it is. It's a sad thing that happens. Look at the look at what's ha- happening to Danny Masterson. Yeah, Ooh, see, you know, I they, don't know they, about that one. They accused him several <laughs> times of sexual assault, and they all found out that it was not get, that that he didn't do it. Yeah, and now but, what they're doing is they keep they keep finding more and more people. Yeah, but you that's know, it's like eventually something's going to stick. It's like that's bullshit. Okay, so let's let's take it for yeah. Okay, let's use that one. Sorry, I'm just all discombobulated because I'm trying to get my thoughts correct here. There's so many cases, and now that he's in jail, more and more are coming out. Now, it what gain is there for him? Because he's not he's already destroyed. He lost all his gigs on Netflix and everything. So what what is there more to gain now that th- this was false? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? If they're all coming out now, and he's already a broken man, then do you think that that's still false? Well, I mean, who knows? But you know what my point was is that you know they had those first. It was like the first three that came out, and you know he he was adamant. He's like, you know, this didn't happen, and blah blah blah. And they're like, whatever, you probably did. And then they found out he was not guilty. Mm-hmm. And he lost everything anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, With this new yeah. stuff, what's the point now? There's nothing to gain. So it, maybe it is true. That's it, all I'm it saying. Be, it, it may be true. But it's like, you know, they, they sit there and they just, you know, they, they hound him and hound him and hound him until something sticks. <clears throat> Don't drink warm Guinness. Like day-old warm Guinness, FYI. Ugh. Does not sound good. Ugh, this is worse oh than the last time, man. The last time I was able to get through it, man. Hydrate. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, that's just like well, Mario Batali. I don't know if you remember him. He was a chef on a. You know, he's a he's a well known chef on TV. He had he had bunches of of uh, people accusing him, and then he fought all of them, and they found out he was not guilty, but he still ruined. Mm-hmm. Because he does, like he gave up his positions on his board. He got fired from all this crap, and it's like now he has nothing. Okay, He's but did, 
Could they go emotional. after the accuser? Could Ruined. he have sued the person that just did all that to them, or did he just let him go? You know? See, that's well, that's you, the you question at hand, though. You know? They don't they don't go after their accuser, and it's like, well, well, I mean, that, then that's their own damn fault. Then, like you said, Kanye well, goes after well, everybody. Well, then there you go. Well, like, so that's well, my opinion. Like with Mario <laughs> Batali, it's like he had he had nothing. You know, mm. when it when it when it was all done so i mean how can he what's he gonna attack him with you know a shoe? johnny cochran i don't know yeah <laughs> there can be always a some kind of like you know person who stand up for him you know and you do pro boner i don't know oh, whatever pro it's, boner it's, 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 look i still stand by my thing that people are just human beings are just stupid i mean we never learn our lessons we're all we're doing is repeating stuff over and over and over again we like to attack before we figure anything out and it's just who we are it's our species i guess so yeah. we just have fun again, innocent innocent until proven guilty yeah being guilty until proven innocent Look, I'm just so tired of everything going yeah, on right now. I'm just so tired of everything. Everybody's just going to the extremes with everything. And and all i got to say is this is an entertainment show, and we like to bring comedy. And comedy is kind of hard to do right now. <laughs> you know, look at even how this show went. We started off with some oh, just off-wall crap, and it turned into this. What did you say, buddy? That. Funny is watching that guy get kicked in the dick. Yes, that was. Uh, oh, I st- oh, my dick still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, Brad, for bringing it back. All right, hey, look in the general. You'll see this is the one that had the most. Uh, I never knew about this till recently. Raiders of the Lost Ark eating the fly scene. Have you guys remember that at all? This is the no. most paused uh, movies um, for things you got to like look at again. So uh, this is when um, Indiana Jones, uh, in the you know the first one, and he's trying to shoot the uh, the Ark, and he's all like, you know, whatever. And then there's this close up of um, Belloc, and a fly lands right on his lip, and then just disappears into his mouth. Yeah. I'm surprised you guys don't I'm know hoping, about this. I don't I'm know about that one. That, that was, uh, I'm hoping that that was like, you know, good editing, you know. <laughs> well, you uh, look it up if you get a off. chance. Uh, then later look up the interview, which should be right beneath it, of the actual actor who like goes to cons and stuff now. And he'll tell you what really happened. But that's a fun one. I thought you guys already knew about that. I didn't. All right. Now nope, this one. It, it just. Blew mm-hmm. on by past me. Yeah. What but really you sell like that. Huh? Did he fly? Well, you gotta, you gotta watch his uh, interview afterwards. Oh, boo. I'm not okay. doing that. <laughs> All right. So this one's for Josh. I sent this to him in a text. But uh, you don't normally see these anymore, at least around here. I want one. Want to ski? What, 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 what's ski? Ski soda is the uh, it's the pride of Clinton County, Illinois. Let's just yeah. put it that way. I've never had it. It's like it's, Mountain it's Dew a- mixed with a bunch of energy and sugar and yes. Before before surge before surge came about in like 1996, ski was Stay where it was at. Mm-hmm. Ski would give you heartburn a lot too. At least me. <laughs> All right, here's another one. You guys remember this from Lion King when he drops down and it's supposed to spell sex or whatever? I never saw it. Did you? I didn't care. I looked for it. Now, I did see the penis in uh, The Little Mermaid on the front cover. Did find that one. Uh, This girl who I was uh, hanging out with, she showed me the original VHS. Yeah. Yeah, so so that's worth some money. There's a lot of like because it's so subconscious to like draw draw like something phallic. I mean, it is. Oh no, this guy did it on purpose because he got fired. He so got he... fired, and right so right before he uh, left with all of his files, he changed the he changed it real quick to. to oh, a okay. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even like a 
accident. Okay. No. no he got fired, and it no. was. I don't uh, actually it was, yeah. draw penises either, by the way. Hmm? No, but. Hmm. I, mean, I mean, he's like. It, it, it's it's just a long shape. I mean, you might, <laughs> like, trying to build things. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, it just reminds me. There was a Star Trek blooper from uh, Next Generation where they were on this island where everybody was all, like, you know, sexy or whatever. And it showed, like, Wesley going, well, it's like this long and it's cylindrical. (laughs) They just, like, edited shit together for him to say. (laughs) It was funny. Did did he he say, shut up, Wesley? Yeah. And yeah, I, to, to tell her bring up a good point. There are so many accidental penises in Minecraft. I mean, <laughs> and, 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 and in Minecraft, really, really. But and, and do you know what the uh, the creeper looks like? No, because I don't play Minecraft. Sorry. Look up an image of the of the creeper. I, I will find it. Hmm. Tough break for the creeper. Oh. Okay, here here's a. Copy image, paste. This is great for radio. Tell we have me a what... great show today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so <laughs> penis right there. Yeah, but see in Minecraft, you everything's gonna look like a damn penis though. It's all squares. That's true. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I might want to see a doctor about that. <laughs> he was trying to make a pig, and that's and, the and he like made... a, got like a Ron Jeremy mustache on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Does look like it actually. What's what that thing sexually? Some of these are a little too uh, political. I think. I, I think that's enough. I think I'm going to destroy the rest of these. All right. Well, everybody, that was uh, some fun things that I had inside my um, my phone for show notes. There's the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so much better. This this show just really took a left turn there in the middle of it. But um yeah. It's all yeah, good. Dude. Do we have any it's miscellaneous podcast yourself? with the title that, that says it all? I know, uh, right? This negative. is totally miscellaneous. Hi. This is B Dism and this is Treat Yourself. Today is uh today's Brenner Day, so that's going to be the Ooh. Yeah, I, and I I bought a uh, what's Brenner? I got a pistol grip. Brenner? You never had Brenner? No. Breakfast for dinner, man. Oh, <laughs> my name's Paro. So I, I bought some uh, some some uh, maple pancake mix. Mm. So it's supposed to be like when you mix this all up, it's supposed to have like maple syrup in the actual pancake mix to make McGriddles or whatever. That's a copyrighted name for McDonald's, and McDonald's did not pay me to say that. Uh, so I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna make these maple pancakes and some scrambled eggs and some bacon, and I'm gonna eat that for dinner. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one thing I was thinking about. Are we done, by the way? So we cue the outro, or no? Yeah, you can cue the outro. <laughs> well, Norco's not here. Well, no, I'm gonna treat yourself. Yeah. What the. <laughs> Shatner, Shatner. Oh my! God. <laughs> That's awesome. All you need to do is just remove Shatner's uh, shirt, and yeah. Oh lord, it's good time. Well, right half there, the time right? you wasn't an alien planet anyway. So exactly. Yeah. That's way phallicy. Wow. I'm surprised he's holding it down at the bottom. Hmm. <laughs> so I was talking about this Frasley with a couple people. I was thinking about. Changing out a little bit of the format real fast and making it to where you know how the bumper music for the show is usually just music for like a couple seconds and Mm -hmm. with the worry of everything becoming too copyright now. I was thinking about just finding some generic music that's free and just always using that one for everything. And I thought that's horrible, horrible, you know? Because if they're not watching the show, they're just listening to it. Just hearing the same crappy song that has no copyright well, to it? Come on now. That's a little rough. Th- there is a feeling that, that comes when you know, th- like, th- like there's an, a, a kind of like a, a, release, a release that happens when you, when you hear the same thing. And you're like, this show, I know this show is always going to have this. 
and I'm ready for it. Okay, I, I get I get that, but I, I kind of worded my stuff wrong a little earlier. It's not about the copyright. What I'm saying is that the show, first off, started off with uh, the majority of the time having miscellaneous intros. That was the gimmick I liked. But now it's yeah. just like I throw up the show. If you guys see it, it's just usually I do an intro, if not, whatever, and I'll just throw in some bumper music and go on. I get that, but we usually have three segments, you know? Having the yeah. same song for three segments, it's kind of crappy, I think. I don't know. I can see that. It's just weird how what I'm saying is the streaming wars are so bad right now that you have to go after the, what is it, every month or two change out what streaming service you have. Uh, now it's hit, hitting Twitter and everything else, and now tons of OnlyFans because of COVID, and just... Tons of just stuff everywhere, which is great. There's content everywhere. But stuff. what? Stuff. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. But the problem with that is like artists like me who like to use just a little bit of something and move on to the day just to have that kind of normalcy. What'd you say, John? Well I like to call yourself an artist, yeah. do you? The content the creator. Problem, right. the, the problem is that if you use things that you don't have the copyright to, then somebody else should be getting paid for that. I know. I know. But come on. Napster, wouldn't you, have Frasley? I, I would have what? You would have sued Napster. I, I'm not big enough to sue Napster. It just d- d- doesn't just get to you how, like, look at our show. That's all I'm saying is how wrong is it to, to do that? You know, I don't play a crap ton of music. I don't make it a long, lengthy fucking copyright song. I take a little section of it. But eventually, they're going to come after me, so I'm going to have to stop. But... Well, we, we, the, I think of, like, if you made something, and somebody else were to be making bank off of that, and no one ever knew who you were, they just knew who this other place was that was using your work. This is real United music States here is everywhere. Well, it has copyright laws. Hmm? The United States is the only country in the world that has copyright laws. Mm. Yeah. Um, That's why you can always get the... uh, Well, so you know what happens when someone has a copyright in the United States uh, for a product? Let's say I invent something that's supposed to be the next coming of since sliced bread. But I send it over to China to get it uh, produced. So that person in China is producing my product and they're sending it back to the States to me and I'm selling it for such and such amount of price, but they have my design. They have my, my blueprints. They can create extra product and sell it out the back door at no type of repercussion to them whatsoever. Mm. Right. Because there's no such thing as a copyright law. Exactly. That that is true. Yeah. Hmm. Like you well, know, years and years ago, there was that big thing that um, was it Microsoft wanted uh, people in China to actually register their product because there was like twelve registered versions of of Microsoft in China, and that was wow. it. Wow, wow. Well, I guess you know if you listeners start hearing not my normal stuff, I put for music. That's why. So. Yeah. 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 Like in Goof Troop. Yeah. And with that note, I think I'm done for the day. I'm Bye, Twitch. Drunk enough for the day. Well, everybody, thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.